All right, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at how to perform another binary arithmetic operation, but this example will be focusing on multiplication of binary numbers. So, looking at how we can perform multiplication on binary numbers. And for example, we have we want to multiply 1, 0, 1, 1. We want to multiply it by by one one. We want to multiply one zero one one by one one. All right. To so write down one zero one one, you write one one multiplication. So draw your line. <clears throat> so we're going to take them one after the other, starting from the last bit, then to the second to the last. So we're going to multiply with this bit first. After we should multiply with this bit, then. We Whatever we have, add our summation to get our result. So, having said that, so let's go. So, 1 times 1 will give you 1. 1 times 1 will give you 1. 1 times 0 will give you 0. 1 times 1 will give you 1. And also note this. So, also 1 times 1 gives you 1. You don't have to write under the first one. You write under the bit itself. So, you don't place this one under the first. So, be mindful of your position. 1 times 1 give us 1, 1 times 0 give us 0, and 1 times 1 give us 1. So when we are done, that next thing is to add your output. So when you add your output, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, divide by 2, that will give you 0, carry 1, put it here 2, that will give us 0, carry 1, put it here 2, 0, carry 1, put it here also 2, 0, carry 1, then put it here 1. Now, so this is the answer we got. So we got 100001. Just for a confirmation, please. 1011 in decimal, please. This is 8 plus 3, 8 plus 2 plus 1. That, this is 11. This is 11 and this is 3. This is 11 and this is 3. So normally, if you multiply this in decimal, 11 times 3 will give you. 33. Let's confirm our answer if what we have is 33. So this is this is 1, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8, this is 16, this is 32. So you can see 32 plus 1 is also 33. So that just has to confirm if your output is correct. So that's for that. So our additions is correct. So, you can also note this from our observation. Whenever you are asked, give it two numbers to multiply. So, 0 times 0, we always give you 0. 0 times 1, we always give you 0. 1 times 0, we always give you 0. Then 1 times 1, we give you 1. So, having said that, let's look at another example of the multiplication of values. So, let's see another example. In this case, maybe three values. Say we are multiplying one zero <clears throat> one zero multiply by multiply by one zero one. So what to multiply one zero one zero by one zero one? So we're gonna draw a line multiplication. We start with the first bit. After which we should multiply again by this bit. After we should multiply, multiply with this bit, after we should multiply with this bit. So let's move. So 1 times 0 will give you 0. 1 times 1 give you 1. 1 times 0 give you 0. 1 times 1 give you 1. Now the second next one, 0 times 0 from our rule, this will give you 0. Please, mindful of your positioning, don't write under the first, under it directly. 0 times 1 will give you 0. This one will give you 0. This will give you 0. Then the next one we're going to multiply is the last bit, which is 1. Multiplying the one, so we have one times zero will give you zero. Mind the positioning, zero. One times one, one. One times zero will give you zero. One times one will give you one. So having done that, the next thing is to add your output. So we add, this one will give us zero. This will give us one. This will give us zero. This will give us 2. 2 divided by 2, 1 remains that 0, right remains that 0, carry 1. 0 give us 1, gives us 1. So when you add, you have, you have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. 
And that's what you got as your answer. Just as a way to confirm your output again, let's check something. This is 5 in binary. This is 5, which is 4 plus 1. This is 5 in binary. And this is 10. This is 10 in decimal. 8 plus 2. So this is 10. So we're multiplying 10 times 5. Supposed to give you 50. So let's go and check the output we have. If we have 50 from our output. So this is this is this is one, this is two, and this is four, this is eight, this is sixteen, and this is thirty-two. Thirty-two plus sixteen will give you forty-eight. Forty-eight plus two, that's fifty. So that shows that what we got is correct. So that's how to perform multiplication on binary. Thank you.